Okay guys, so here in two weeks, Mr. Ed is going to be at our local B conference here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And so in the spirit of hospitality, I think we're gonna make him a hive tool today. And I'm gonna hand forge it like the hive tools that I use. But I think he uses this shape hive tool. I believe this is the profile he uses. And so we're gonna try to make something that kinda is somewhat similar to what he normally uses, but we're gonna put a twist on it. So I'm not gonna make, I like kinda how this is kinda shallow for what I'm doing today, so we're not gonna do one that has as long of a, a, a scraper like this, but we are gonna have that, uh, that feature here. And then the end is gonna be uh, kinda similar to this. But I think we're going to put something on the handle, maybe similar, let me grab something here. Oop. Hopefully that wasn't too noisy. Something like this, except I think I'm only gonna put it on one side and kind of see how that looks out. It won't be kind of as thick as this. So the back side of it will be metal. And then on the inside, I'm gonna put, um, I don't know, buffalo horn or something like that on the inside of it. And we're gonna see how that, how that works. I'm just curious, because some people, I don't think Mr. Red does, but some people will use a, a magnet, uh, you know, somewhere on their belt or maybe in the pocket of their bee suit. And uh, so I just kind of want to play around with leaving this backside open for that kind of a thing, but having the, uh, the handle material on the bottom and kind of see how that looks. So uh, I'm going to fire up the forge and get started on this. At any point you guys find this video uh, entertaining, The Hive Tool videos haven't got uh, very many views, so I don't know if it's just not something that people want to see or uh, uh, if it was just the kind of the state of my channel at the time. But uh, yeah, let me know uh, what type of videos you guys want to see because I'm not going to post stuff uh, nobody wants to watch.
Okay, so I was thinking about putting uh, some handle wood on this or something, but I think I'm gonna leave it like it is. And I'll be honest, mainly because I don't, I don't wanna mess it up. I've only got so much time before uh, Mr. Ed comes up here, so if I was to mess around with this and kind of goof it up, I wouldn't have time to make him another one. So I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. I think it's good enough, just kind of rough and dirty, but it's got a unique shape to it, so. I'm assuming he'll like it. And uh, yeah, that's that. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So I put this uh, two inch foam on this hive that I've got the observation windows in the bottom and on the top. And uh, there's no condensation. It's, uh, it's in the 20s right now. They were clustered a little more. I opened it just a second ago before I filmed, but uh, there was a few bees up kind of fanning, but when I opened it, the light, I think it's got them moving around, but uh, just uh, been wanting to kind of check this and see if there's a bunch of condensation or not, because they should be, well, I know they're brooding up because I moved them from the other box. And, uh, so they've got to be generating heat to keep that brood alive. But with the insulated top, that's pretty good. I don't have any food. This one's mom isn't really producing much milk, it doesn't seem like, so we've been supplementing a little bit. <laughs> sheep all think they're gonna get a snack because we'll lure them into here with a little bit of a snack. You want more?